Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Keep. A train leaves station A at 5 a.m. and reaches station B at 9 a.m. on the same day. Another train leaves station B at 7 a.m. on the same day and reaches station A at 10.30 a.m. So what time will both trains meet each other? So the data we have here is the starting time and ending time of two trains. So from the first sentence, if this is station A and this is station B, then let this have this as train A and this as train B. So train A starts at 5 a.m. and reaches station B at 9 a.m. So train A starts at 5 a.m. and reaches at 9 a.m. From the next sentence, train B starts at 7 a.m. and reaches at 10.30 a.m. So which is 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So I'll be solving this question in three methods. Just stick with the one which is easier for you. So from this, the time taken by train A is equals 5, 9 minus 5, which is 4 hours. Whereas time taken by train B equals 7 to 10.30, which is 3 and a half hours. 3, 1 by 2 hours. So this can be converted into 7 by 2 hours. So in any train problem, the formula we know is distance equals speed into time. So these are the data we need to find. So the time we know now speed is distance by time. So distance by 4 for now because time is 4 hours here and speed of train B is same thing goes again so distance by time so distance is we don't know now for now distance by 7 by 2 which is equals 2 goes up which is 2d by 7 and distance so to find the distance there will not be going to be in distance A and distance B because distance is common here so distance can be found by LCM of time between these two times 4 and 7 by 2 so LCM of 4 comma 7 by 2 so this can be found by two methods again so First method is we can take as LCM of cross multiplication. So when it is 4 comma 7 by 2, so 4 to 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 comma 7, which is equals. So LCM equals 56 here, which means the distance D equals 56. So since we know D, we can find S A and S B. S A is equals 56 by 4, which is equals 14 kilometers per hour. And speed B equals 2D by 7, which is 2 times 56 by 7, which equals 7 times 8 is 56. 2 times 18 is 6, 16 kilometers per hour. So now we need to find the meeting time. Since train A has started at 5 a.m., whereas train B has started only by 7 a.m. So by since the time taken by train A is 4 hours, so by 2 hours, like 5 to 7 is 2 hours, it would have reached the half a distance already. Just to explain again, the train A started at 5 a.m. here and it reaches at 9 a.m. here, whereas train B starts at 7 a.m. So by 7 a.m., that is 2 hours, the total time taken by train A is total 4 hours, so in 2 hours, it would have reached a half a distance. So this remaining distance is the distance train A and train B can meet. So which is since the total distance year to year is 56 kilometers from station A to station B is 56 kilometers. We are finding only for this remaining distance which is 28 kilometers. So time taken could be found by distance by speed. So relative speed. So distance is 28 kilometers and relative speed is speed of train A plus train B because they are traveling towards each other. So speed of train A is 14 and speed of train B is 16. So 14 plus 16 which is equals 28 kilometers by 30 kilometer per hour. So which is equals this is kilometer kilometer gets cancelled right. So 28 by 30 hour. So to convert this hour into minutes we are multiplying by 60. So which is 30 times 2 is 60 which is equals 56 minutes. We are converting the hour into minutes by multiplying by 60. So since there is already 2 hours passed here. So 2 hour and this plus 56 minutes which is equals 2 hour 56 minutes. So train A should travel 2 hour 56 minutes to meet train B. So since it started at 5 a.m. So 5 plus 2 hour and 56 minutes equals 7 hour 56 minutes. So the train A and train B meets at 7 hour and 56 minutes. That is 7 56 a.m. I'll be solving this question in two other different methods in the upcoming videos. If you have any other doubts, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.